In this video, we're going to cover how to route Mac OS system audio to virtual channels on your Universal Audio Apollo device. There are a lot of different reasons someone would want to do this. One of the most common reasons I use is so that while I'm watching one of my favorite shows, I can brighten up the dialogue. The first thing to mention is that I'm using the most recent update of the console app, 1.0.0.126, as of the date of this video. So you'll probably want to make sure that your console app is up to date prior to following along. The next thing to do is go up to the sound icon at the top of the screen and make sure that the Apollo device is selected. In this case, it shows up for me as Universal Audio Thunderbolt, although it's possible that it may appear slightly different on your system. Due to copyright reasons, I won't be able to include the audio, but I have Spotify already playing music. The monitoring meters aren't showing, so I'll go up to the View menu and select Section, and then Monitor. Now the Monitor section is showing, with the Master Meter showing that audio is present. Now, instead of the System Audio routing to the Monitor section, I would like to route it to the Virtual Channels 1 and 2. To do this, I'll need to open the Audio MIDI Setup Utility. Now in the list of devices to the left, we'll want to make sure that the Apollo device is selected and then select Configure Speakers. I'll make sure that the configuration indicated at the top indicates stereo and then I'll change the left speaker to Virtual 1 and the right speaker to Virtual 2. I'll apply the changes and then click Done. Now returning back to the console app. The virtual 1 and 2 channels are muted and the faders are all the way down, so the meters aren't moving yet. The first thing I'll do is pan the channels hard left and right, and then I'll unmute them and option click them to bring them both to unity. Now I can insert plugins to the channels as I wish. If you're going to use plugins, what I would suggest is to mute one of the channels. In this case, I'll mute the right channel. Pan the other channel to the middle. Insert the plugins you plan on using and adjust them to taste. Option drag the plugins to the other channel to copy them over. And then after this, make sure the channels are panned hard left and right again and unmute the muted channel. That should be all there is to it. I hope that this video has helped you out. Drop me a comment below and let me know how you're using this in your projects. And if you have any issues, let me know. Until next time.